my people. Labor Party fashion now. Ramidi Apapa Arabambi don't demand. Arab Balafa. Then could I share this video? They don't come out to say that P2B also forged and submitted fake documents. Say that the document P2B submitted say now woman say that P2B is a woman that is married. Say that now the brother wife certificate he submitted. Say that he's also a forger and he will be disqualified at the Supreme Court. <laughs> I beg, make could I share this? Video. Listen to the press conference they gather. Make for this thing. This is a world press conference by Labour Party. Today, Friday, the 13th day of uh, October 2023. Unveiling the true identity of the man called Mr. Peter Obi, who is using the identity of his dead brother. I repeat. We want to unveil the true identity of Mr. Peter B, who is using the identity of his dead brother. Mr. Peter B name on the LYC certificate, the one on the University of Nigeria and Soka certificate and WAEC are different. Who and what is his elder brother name? Where is he and what happened to him? Gentlemen of the press, the attention of Labour Party have been drawn to Mr. Peter B. needless and unwarranted World Press Conference on Wednesday, 11th of October 2023, where he accused the President and Commander in Chief of Armed Forces of the Federal Bank of Nigeria, Ashwaji Bola Ametinumbu, <coughs> of using fake identity. We have been watching with keen interest the various reaction and most likely of the unsubstantiated allegation of forgery in respect of Chicago State University Diploma Certificate of His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinobu GCFR. While we agree that Mr. Obi has the right to his opinion, he ought to have been guided by the Constitution of Nigeria because who, he who comes to equity must come with a clean hand. <clears throat> As a main opposition party, the role being played by the Labour Party former 2023 presidential candidate is highly <clears throat> condemnable because it is obvious he is trying to levy war against the president of Nigeria through intimidation in order to cause violence of our which is a treatable felony offence punishable by death or life imprisonment. We believe rather than Mr. Peter be engaging in this media tragedy, rascality and comedy, he should have allowed Supreme Court to adjudicate on the veracity of the issue raised in the President Sasuke Saga. Labour Party added on credible authority that he has another brother, the firstborn of his, of his father. He should disclose his elder brother's name and his whereabout. What is the relationship between Peter B and the likes of IKB, Jakes Five, and late Senator Okonko in the 80s in Lagos? <clears throat> what business interest was he pursuing in the 80s in the USA with the above mentioned individuals? And whose passport did he use to travel to the US? Let him show Nigeria a birth certificate and the name. He bear on, on, on the on the birth certificate. <clears throat> we can also confirm that as the National Public Secretary of Labour Party, I was among those who screamed OB as one of the president of and that the name written on Peter Obi academic certificate from the University of Nigeria Anzuka was different from the name on his LYC certificate or the former governor and his wife certificate. Mr. B claimed in his comedy press statement that, and I quote, I will not just start by giving you my academic record. I will start by introducing myself. He said my name given to me at birth by my parent is Peter Onwubuasi Obi. That was my parent, I mean that was the name my parent gave me. I don't answer my ego or middle name. 
What it means is that I cannot die. So I choose not to answer it. But my father that gave me that name, it was my father that gave me that name. My name is Peter Ongubua Siyobi. I'm a Catholic and my confirmation name was Gregory. So you will see, you will see me write Peter Gregory Obi. I repeat, I repeat, he said you will see me write Peter Gregory Obi in all his dealings. But a second look and, and curious check on Peter Obi 1978 school certificate result posted orderly by a co-traveler in the theater of political rascality and absurdity, absurdity Mr. Oseloka, his former SAG, showed that the name Obi Gregory Obuasi and not Peter Obuasi Obi, as he claimed. Now, some questions are now begging for answer as follows. Who is Peter Obuasi Obi? The name he said it was given to him by his parents. Two, who is Obi Gregory Obuasi on the white 1970 certificate? <clears throat> Three, who is Obi Gregory Peter Ifin, company name Obuasi on the NYC certificate? And finally, who is Gregory Peter Obuasi Obi on the uh, on his uh, United I mean uh, United Nigeria Super certificate? These are different four names that contradicted what he claimed in his press statement. Like I said, I was part of the executive that did screening for him. And I want to say calculate to Nigeria that in the form EC9, that the particulars of candidate from the INEC, he wrote that he attended University of Nigeria, Onsuka. He wrote that he finished the youth service. But unfortunately, in the final submission of form that we did, he only submitted the school certificate. So, something is fishy, and I say, the school, the name the school said for mobilization was not what was written on the NYC certificate, and he knows that. All of us is aware, when you graduated, it is the school that will send your name for mobilization, not you going to NYC. To go and meet them by yourself, they will send the name of all the graduates to NY for mobilization. So they will definitely say, I mean, they are going to send it as you know, in respect to the name on your certificate. Now, the destination that is going, I don't know, and what you want to achieve, and what you want to achieve. We are before the Supreme Court, his own position, his own petition and pleading. And this accusation of CSU are not there. So, calling out on someone to show his true identity is not a question that will not be sent back to him. Because when you have a log of wood in your eyes, you don't help the man who has a speck in his eyes. For us in the Labour Party and to fellow Nigerians, we do not know the true identity of Peter Obi, even in the Labour Party, because everything was treated in secrecy as at the time between him and Aburi in Asaba, where we did the primary. Because we were rushing then, and we just had a day to a presidential primary. And that was why he was able to get away with it. But we have it on record that will be named on the Nigerian certificate and the one on the University of Nigeria, uh, Enzuka certificate, they are different. The name Peter Gregriobi is that of his brother, Key. By the drop baron. I repeat, Peter B. Elder brother, his firstborn was a drop baron that was killed. He belonged to Andy Okonko, the IKB group in the early 80s. He should bring a birth certificate. And we want to know who is Gregory rather than him to comp you know to comport himself, is telling the whole world that is not. <clears throat> OB is not a clean person. For eight years, he did not conduct local government election in Anambra. He came to save money for Anambra. These are the money he put in a private bank and he collected interest in the money. He saved Anambra money in Fidelity Bank. If truly he was saved for the people of Anambra, he should have put it in Union Bank or First Bank. He used the money for collateral, 
for a private businesses. The bank was issuing letter of credit and is the one accusing the president of being a thief. How on earth will such a person go on here on a national television station and accuse somebody of fraud when he knew he has no local standard? People should come and ask him what happened to his elder brother? What killed him? Two, why did he not allow his elder brother wife to remarry or leave his house? Why is he using only his school certificate and so on? We want Peter Abi to deny this allegation and we are ready to bring him up fight. Most importantly, Peter Abi needs to come back to the press and show his birth certificate. I put it to him via the world press conference that the name on the birth certificate is not Peter Gog Gilby. He's using the name of his brother and even the next international company he, he claimed to have owned when he was in school belonged to that his dead brother. Finally, I've been warned even up to this morning not to grant this press conference by Peter Obi and Julius Aburi. Yes, they said I risk losing my life. The president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashwai Bolamen Tinumbu, should note that should anything happen to me and my family, the Inspector General of Police will be put on notice that Mr. Peter B and Abure are to be arrested for my assassination. There is no need for any investigation as I may be silenced anytime soon by them. I employ the IGP and the DJ DSS to watch me closely so that I will not be key for saying the truth. I pray for the repose of the soul of Mubad, but there will not be any another Mubad in Nigeria. Dr. Abba Mirabambi, National Public Secretary, Labour Party, October 13, 2023. Thank you all. Nigeria, he went on here to say Nigeria are now being viewed as criminal. I am not a Ghanaian. So I need them to come and claim that we are not criminals. When you come to equity, you have to come with a clean hand. There is no white thief in the world. There is no white thief in the world and there is no black thief in the world. A man who came to deceive us in the Labour Party should not be at the forefront of laying accusation on the other person. Now, what we are now asking is this. He said the president should come out. I am not interested in that rhetoric. What I'm interested in this, who is Peter Gogiobi? He's not the one. It's his brother. It's his brother. He's not the one. So, he should come and tell Nigeria and face your true identity. How could a woman who has a child be claiming you have twins? Who deliver you of twins? It is the one you have, you know, that should you lay claim to, not for you to be laid claim to what doesn't belong to you. As a member of the same party, we will not cover crime. We will say because if you want to cover crime, the APC and PDP should continue to rule. Why do you want to change them? We have accused them of malaxation. We have accused them of my governance. We have accused them of stealing. It was in this country they are about to just spend one sixty billion uh, dollar on power. Did we see it? So if you want to change them, why do you have to be like them? It is better if we are going to enter their shoe, then we should leave them to continue. So I won't be a party to someone who said Nigeria is not being viewed as a criminal. Me, I don't have black passport. I am just a Nigerian from Owudia. So if somebody said I'm a criminal, I want to point it to him that order. Go and clean yourself first. The log of wood in your eyes, remove it before you, you can now check the spec. And so it's not a party thing. When you are adding your identity, for all of you to know, on his NYC certificate, we know people that used to use company name. We know them. It's women when they get married. I don't know whether this is a woman. You put Obi, Gregory, Peter, Ipin, Ongubuase. Who gave him the company? Who gave him the company? Has he ever told you people he's a woman? Or is more than mother another person? He put Peter. I think that is a company name now. This is common, come, I mean, a common sense English now. He put a company name here as his name. Those are questions begging for answer. Not for you to be telling me that, oh, you are paying. That the one president is a criminal, is a forger. Are you getting my point? So these are the questions we're asking. Now, 
the school that mobilizes him. It's the Lord of Nigeria, Isuka now. Everybody that goes to, to, to start this, no. It is your school that will send your name to NYC, not you going there. So if you write on Nigeria, Isuka wrote Gregory Peter Ogbasi Obi to NYC, how many? And I was now married, uh, married him up to another person. They now put Peter, I think, um, 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 Obi. Who gave him the power to marry Obi up? Is he a woman? Or an Amaphrodite? This is not the question. Thank you for answering now. And don't forget, this thing was sent by Oseloka. It's, it's SLG. Yesterday. Do I have it? But when I did my press conference, he now came out to say, Oh, Obi is very clean. He thought we are daft. We are not daft. This are true you need to clear this thing now. Are you a woman? Are we talking about our product or you know, same sex yeah? You need to clear this thing. How do how did NYC manage to put IP Peter on Gwasi? Is Peter now a woman? Those are going to the question begging for answer. It's a question of Labour Party matter. If we will follow crime, if we are going to follow Mathis and my governor, is there a savory of APC and PDB administration, then we don't have any business to be in governor. That means we are all better of the same feather. And Labour Party was not formed on that. It came from PDP. So it should not just come and infest us with those corrupt I mean they are, they are corruption in the Labour Party. We don't want that. You can go back to PDP where it's coming from. So that I mean that is the answer I have to your question. That we live, we are his boss there. He's a boy in our party. We are his boy, we are his own boss. He met up Obi that is just one year. Me that I spent 14 years will leave the party for him. For what? He's the one that will leave. We will go down to Aga or PDP. We are his senior in the party. We are his boss. It's not our own boss. And let me correct something. In Labour Party, the executive are the leaders. Our national chairman is the leader of the party, not our presidential candidate. In the state, it is state chairman that is the leader of the party. We are not like PDP or PD, I mean APC. When they elected the governor or the local government, you know, you become a party leader. No, our constituents are not like that. So Obi is just one of our members in the Labour Party. And after this, they are needless uh, petition. He will be sent back to either Abga. They are waiting for in Abga or PDP. But he can't stay in the Labour Party because we are parallel line that can never meet. So we are is we are the one that took him into the Labour Party. So once his own ideology cannot fit with our own, he's the one that will carry his package back to where he's coming from. Not for him to come and infest us, you know, with uh, endemic corruption in the Labour Party. We do do diligence. No, we no, we are not liable to prosecution. You know why? I said in my press this thing, he was the one that deposed to an oath in the form EC9. Form EC9 is a form given by NEC where candidates are expected to put in their particular. You will now go to court. You will now depose an affidavit that every information given here is correct. You are the one that will sign. You depose. But when it is found to be lied, you are one that committed perjury. What he wrote, because he, you know, we did primary on the 29th. On the 30 was the last day. So we were rushing. He said, you know, he filled it there. He's there in Nine. But he only said he had his school sack. No, he now put his school sack. He said, at least school sack is the minimum. That because he was rushing, you know, he left PDP three days before he now came to join us. He said he will put his school sack there. It was me and Faru that now rushed for Mataba to meet up with Nine. So that we now submitted it. He said he will bring the rest since he has written them down. So we are not culpable. Are you getting me? You are not culpable. You know, if you tell me now that, oh, my wife is in the labor room and the wife of your friend now come up, you are going to explain to the whole world now that how many your wife, your friend of the wife, your wife is in the labor room, you say that your wife. Now you go pay the bride price. You are the one that will explain. So he's the one that said he has it. He's there in the former C9. But he only submitted the school start. Because the minimum qualification is there. He didn't even put the birth certificate. He wrote, he, he said he has, you know, date of birth. And the, the form said, submit, you know, you have, you have to attach. But he submitted the minimum, which is the school staff or his equivalent. You know, in Nigeria, even if you work for 10 years, it, it is assumed you went to school. That's Nigeria constitution. They said we all want to change it. But for now, that is what we be contented with or we can put to Ghana. He said he has a dead brother. I said his name on the certificate is not the name that's the parading. I'm coming. No, let me ask. Let me ask. He said 
This is his name. I wasn't the one that wrote that thing. You know. He said that was his name given to him by his father. I am calling on Peter Obi. Now, in the presence of your world, he would have saved his life. He should have been sent to the Let me go and meet him there. Simple. Let her, let her meet there. But he's using the identity of his dead brother. So does the party have any plan to expel him all? No, he will be expelled if he doesn't have to judge him. He will be expelled. He will be expelled. It is false. That that one is false. Because what we are saying doesn't concern a president Tinubu. It concerns our own party. You understand? If somebody is an amaprodite, you come out to say you are amaprodite. If they get him out, you know, I just I just show you the certificate of NYC. I'm not the one that put Peter. I think. I, think. I, I mean, let us be very let us be very sure now. Ah, maybe maybe it's a woman. Maybe they married him up. NYC also need to come out clean on this. I am not the one. And don't forget, they posted this to Oseloka, he says, he posted this thing on his own media and yesterday. He posted it that this is certificate. And because some of us are wise, we now, now ask a question, and why did you come and tell us, who married Peter B? Is he the one that married somebody or they married him? <laughs> Mad, though, this will don't be mad. Okay. One thing I understand in this gra gra, because they have loose. Nobody listen to them again. Just look at waiting these people come. come. Now they have proven. Say they are working for Tinubu. <laughs> they are working for APC. At the initial, they denied though. Said nobody pays them. Now it has already proven. Say they are APC fashion and no be Labour Party. And the first, if they, they call this, if as they, they come out, they claim say they are Labour Party. No. These people are pure hundred percent APC fashion. They are parading themselves as Labour Party. If 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 the actual Labour Party. Would they come out to do this? Trying all means, they tried to disqualify to, uh, P2B at the tribunal. It didn't work. Oh. Now they are working so hard at the Supreme Court. They don't bring another nonsense, fake, mad evidence. Say that is just imagine P2B all know he went to Cambridge, he went to Oxford, he went to Vienna. A man who, in fact, that the certificate is already on the public. You want to prove saying you submitted fake document. This is a party affair. He can say that I did this, I did this, but it's left for him. What matters is which certificate did he submit to the INEC? These people don't get brain. They don't even have sense. What matters is which certificate did P2B submit to the INEC? How many which certificate did P2B fail to the for INEC? INEC form where the form where you submit to INEC. Which document or certificate did he fill and which one did he submit? When I know these people, they don't even, I don't, I don't even know how they managed to even get upper hand the Labour Party. Because they don't even know how this, how their party works. They don't know the, the operation of the party. Because if they know, they wouldn't have. If that's how they want to claim, say, but the one way shocked me be say, saying that P2B document is also woman. Claim, you know, I hope now, I beg, wait till now they think on this video. Comment your opinion on, the, on this, uh, at the comment section. And don't forget to 